Today, we're announcing more than $77 million to support food processors during this crisis. This is money that they can use to purchase personal protective equipment for workers, adapt to health protocols, and support other social distancing measures. It will also help expand or adapt our processing capacity to increase the amount of Canadian products we make domestically. To help cattle and hog producers, we will launch a $125 million national agri-recovery initiative. Farms and processing plants are raising more animals than the system can process into things like steak and bacon because of COVID-19. For many farmers, this crisis means that they have to keep animals for longer periods of time, and that can be expensive. So with this funding, we're giving extra help to beef and pork producers so that they can adapt to this crisis. This is an initial investment, and if we need to add more, we will. With hotels and restaurants closed, too much of certain types of food, like milk, butter, and potatoes, is being produced. While some donations have been made to food banks, we don't have the capacity right now to redistribute such large quantities of food. And some producers have no choice but to throw out their product. It's a waste of food and a loss of revenue for the people who worked so hard to produce it. To avoid this, we're launching a surplus food purchase program, starting with a $50 million fund. The government will buy large quantities of certain products at risk of going waste, to say, like, say, potatoes or poultry, and redistribute them to organizations addressing food insecurity. This will help ensure that our farmers are being compensated for their hard work and that our most vulnerable have access to fresh food during this crisis. Taken together, these measures represent a $252 million investment to support the people who keep our grocery stores stocked and our families fed. 